What is going down, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this video, the 49ers are actually looking to sign a veteran pass rusher. Uh, they are hosting free agent um, Ezekiel Ansa, Ziggy Ansa, who played for the Lions and then went to the Seahawks, uh, but played really poor at the Seahawks last season. And then Deion Jordan, who's been with the Seahawks, the Raiders, I believe, and then the Dolphins. Um, these are veteran guys. Deion Jordan really hasn't done much since being drafted by the Dolphins in 2013. Um, I think he's had two and a half sacks over like a course of like 50 or so games. It's so, I mean, he's not really anything major. Um, neither is Ziggy Ansah. Um, Ziggy Ansah really had hype in 2015 when he recorded, I believe it was 13 and a half sacks. And um, he went on to his only Pro Bowl selection that year um, and really hasn't been the same ever since. Um, so what the 49ers are trying to do here is just add depth before the 2020 season gets underway. Um, you know, depth at any position is always good. You know the 49ers rotate defensive linemen all the time. They did it last season, um, and it's good that they do that because, I mean, you get some players um, that are tired and, and things upon that nature. Um, so when you have a rotating defensive line with really great depth, you're, that defensive line is never going to be tired. It's just going to be better for the team in general. Um, so, I mean, like I said, these are going to be – if we sign one of them, it's going to be a depth move. Um, I can see Ziggy Ansah being signed before Deion Jordan. Um, I'd prefer Ziggy Ansah over Deion Jordan. I feel like Ziggy Ansah has been more productive over his career. Um, and obviously, um, Ziggy Ansah, um, you know, he's made a name for himself. And, um, you know, the 49ers know what he can do. Know it, and, and when you know a player's potential, um, you just got to find, you know, the right uh, – the right route to take um, in order for that player to succeed on the team. So, I mean, with Ziggy Ansah being, you know, with him having those 13 and a half sacks, you know, five years ago, and then, you know, him being a decent productive player over the course of, you know, from 2015 to, to now, um, obviously, like I said, last season, I believe he only had like two and a half sacks, didn't really do much. Uh, but, it's a low risk, high reward type signing. I'm sure if we if we reach a deal with them, and um, I'm not going to be mad because anytime you have you know depth at a position, it's always good. So, especially in case for injuries, not just you know the rotation the 49ers do, but with injuries as well. So uh, we'll see what happens. But the 49ers are hosting Ziggy Ansah and Deion Jordan today for visits, and um, we'll see if one of them gets signed within the next couple days. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, when I'm not going to, I'm not really sure when, um, Ziggy Ansa and Dion Jordan will be going to the 49ers headquarters to, to, you know, meet with them, but, um, I'm going to assume it's going to be today. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated on this situation. Um, I'm going to be checking Twitter and obviously I have notifications on. So if I get anything, I will inform you guys, but until then, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of the Niners bringing in Ansa and Deion Jordan uh, for visits, and, and let me know which one you think the 49ers will sign um, if they do sign any of them. So, with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.